Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I am your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Thumpin' Thursday. Woohoo! Boy! Greg Coates! Yes! Whoa. Look how cool he looks. I know. Damn it. <laughs> you, don't, you don't ever look that cool. I know, I know. <laughs> I noticed. Just I noticed. Here. I'm just kidding. You always look. You always look cool, Lemo. You always do. Uh, so we have a really cool base, do we not? <laughs> this is a really, really cool base. It's and it's a, got a lot of case candy too. Yes, it does. It's what a, year we got here? It's a 1962 jazz base with a slab board. Oh, very Ooh. cool. The pick guard on this is an exquisite piece of tortoise shell. Really nice. Not shrunk at all. Um, tuners are all in great shape. Yeah, some really beefy old flat ones on here. Um, yeah, beautiful uh, ro Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Yeah. Clay dots. Got really strong dark green here. Uh, everything it has the mutes in the uh, bridge cover, so it's got that kind of thumpy uh, upright kind of thing going on right now. Um, the neck, is, back of the neck's real clean. The Brit, the back of the body had a little bit of buckle rash. Someone played it, but they were careful about everything else, you know. So that's bound to happen if you, you know. I find that the, <laughs> the ones that sound great have a couple marks on them because somebody loved it so much, so no, nothing wrong with that, but man, you can tell by that that neck, that Brazilian rosewood board, that this thing's going to be great. Yeah, it's, um, it's really nice, and the fact that it has such heavy strings on it right now, and it's that the neck is that stable, that's a nice, that's a good you know, good piece of maple, and there's a strong piece of rosewood on there. That slab board helps kind of, with the thickness in the middle, kind of helps it uh, be a little bit more stable. Serious instrument, and uh, Greg, you mind holding it for a sec? Let's also check out this case candy. Look at this. Electric mm. bases, you got your jazz bass, your precision bass. Oh. Whoa! Oh, there's some like music notation in a. <laughs> that tells you. <laughs> that tells you a lot. The instruction manual. I might need that. Yeah, yeah you might need this. I might need, I might need this. Yeah, you actually. I you might need. I can't read a note. But this is too cool. That is really cool. This is way cool. No, I'm not gonna. Oh, <laughs> you're about to steal it. <laughs> no, but it's really, really great. I love that it's jazz, jazz master, master logo. But yeah, all the re really cool case candy. You even have the the Tolex tag. Wow. As advertised, as ad <laughs> I can't even speak. As advertised in holiday, oh. which is right now. So yes. we can do this all over again. <laughs> but a really, really cool base and uh, an amazing kind of kit here with all this stuff. So, and wow. This actually looks nice it's for it being super clean case. Clean. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Something from you know, almost uh, 60 years old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's take it out front. Um, this thing's gonna sound great. Let's do it. All Let's right. go. Woo! Woo! Let's go, Greg. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Greg Coates here at Norman's Rare Guitars, and I have a 62 lovely Fender Sunburst Jazz Bass. Alder body, you can see the grains in this. It has all the shrouds in place, all the covers. It even has the white felt mutes underneath there. You can't see, but it definitely has that muted kind of tone. Um, some uh, beautiful Brazilian rosewood fingerboard with clay dots. Just you know, a little bit of wear on the frets, but it's an old bass, you know. But it's uh, pretty easily played. A uh, little bit of buckle rash. Uh, neck's super clean. Uh, just you know, and it has that nice lightweight of that period. Um, three controls, you know, two volumes. In a tone, not the stack knob from that's kind of common to this era. Um, it's got some big, meaty flat wounds on here that are probably from around that area. They feel that way anyway. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll go through the we'll go through it, pick up at a time. Uh, here we are. All right.
<laughs> I don't want to hear the acoustics ring in the room while playing bass. Uh, that was just the neck pickup full on. Uh, we'll go bridge pickup here and tone wide open. sounding bridge pickup. Big fat, big fat flat when I was really helping out. Really even. Again, the mutes are in there, so you're not getting a lot of sustain right now. Definitely that kind of trying to uh, approximate an upright bass sound. Um, they're both pickups, wide open, tone all the way up. Beautiful alder body, jazz bass. That's my cable, I think. Uh, really great straight grain maple neck. Really, really solid feeling. A little bit of buckle rest. A little bit, a little bit of play, play on here. But everything else, really straight, really clean. Uh, all the tuners in great shape. All the screws there. Um, yeah, it's got the mutes and in, mutes inside the covers. They're all original. Everything original. Looks like the original nut as well. I can still see a little bit of file marks on the on the treble side of the nut, which is kind of par for the course back in the day when they were making these. They didn't put maybe as much finishing into the nut and some other things. Um, just it's just cool to see that indication of tool a tool work on there. Um, some really ancient big fat flat wound strings on here. Killer jazz bass. Definitely has that vintage kind of sound and the, with the mutes and everything in there. Really a cool attempt at approximating the sound of an upright bass but obviously you can change the strings out and get all kinds of different tones out of it. Really even sounding pickups. Beautiful uh, Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Really really strong dark line down the middle. Clay dots. Yeah. Great example of early 60s uh, jazz bass. Uh, yeah. These are be soon going to be few and far between. Really, really, really great instruments. Yeah. I'd say this is a definitive early 60s jazz bass. Come on down to Norman's and check this out. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs>